everyone. Something which doesn't happen is happening. It's freaking raining in Phoenix. Hey everyone, Joel Anderson. Today we're in Phoenix, Arizona, kind of like downtown Phoenix, Arizona. I'm going to a place called America's Taco Shop to do their uh, taco challenge. So this is a big like sheet tray of little street tacos. They look delicious. You do get to pick your flavors. Um, they're actually really well known apparently for their carne asada, um, but they have an El Pastor, they have a chicken, um, maybe a couple other kinds, but those are the ones I definitely remember. I think it was a total of 24 tacos in the challenge and you had 15 minutes to complete. This was definitely a quick one, definitely a short one. Um, that being said, we are trying to get the tacos for free and the taco platter I think is somewhere between like, well I think it's basis, it depends on like the flavors you pick. So I don't know, maybe like 50 bucks or so. Um, but anyway, let's pretty much enjoy the details. So that looks goes funny the food. Of course, Arizona being really close to the Mexican border is known for tacos, known for their high quality Mexican food. And any of the tacos we've ever had in Phoenix have been fantastic. So hopefully these will be the same. I do love me some tacos. So that goes fun, eat some food, let's go eat. So I'm driving on the John Wayne Parkway. Who actually is John Wayne? Like that's kind of a always like traditional cowboy name that I'm kind of like, I'm just kind of used to being like, oh, John Wayne, like anonymous guy or cowboy, but who's John Wayne? They actually named a parkway or like a, a small highway in Arizona after him. I don't know. Please let me know down below. All right, everybody, so here I am with the America's American Taco Challenge, even though these are not American, even though I guess the, the actual owner's name is America, so that's why it's called America's Taco Shop. It has nothing to do with necessarily the country, although, of course, we are in America. But I will say, these are totally authentic, kind of real street tacos, guys. That is a traditional El Pastor being cooked on a trompo. We have the greatest carne asada, and yes, I quote, literally, look at this. On the menu itself, it is, I quote, home of the greatest carne asada in the valley. So yeah, we got the greatest carne asada I'm excited to try. I also went with four chicken, so you got the total of 24. I went with 10, 10, and four. I tried the chicken, just tried the chicken. But I guess what they're really known for is both the uh, carne asada and the El Pastor, some of my favorite. Um, I have variety of their different salsas here, such as like a roasted tomato salsa. I have a kind of more, uh, we'll call it like chip salsa they have, but they make them all here, which looks really awesome. They gave me some pure habanero puree if I wanted to really spice things up. And then I have a great big salsa verde, kind of like a tomatillo green salsa, which I do like me myself. I have a variety of lemons or lime, um, which people love. And so listen, I'm not always a lime on taco person, but for all you people, let me just put a little bit of lemon on all the, ooh, oh, that's my eyeball. Ooh. All right, put the lemon, lime, whatever juice in the tacos, not in your eyeball. That doesn't feel very good. Yeah, can't recommend. That being said, I'm excited, but yeah, this is gonna be a quick one because it has to be, unfortunately, but hey, they have a variety of different items here. Apparently they're also really known for their beans, interestingly enough. But at that, I think that's pretty much it. So um, yeah, like I said, trying to get that about, well, they're about the all past store tacos are two bucks, carne salad I think are three, so, you know, I don't know, we'll say 60, 70, whatever dollar platter here. So let's try to uh, hopefully get that meal free and let's see if we can complete this challenge. So that, let's just start here. Just moment All right, guys, so let's get rocking and rolling. Cool fact, I guess, um, which is so hard to believe now, but I guess in Phoenix, like tacos weren't that big of a thing. Now they're available on every single corner, but uh, when this place opened up, they were kind of among some of the first-ish people at least some of them, the, uh, what do you call, it? pioneers of taco restaurants here in uh, the Phoenix area, which again, if you have at all been to the Phoenix area recently, that was, should very surprise you because there are taco restaurants everywhere. But that being said, I know there's, what, two locations? Multiple locations? Two locations. Two? Castell, Old Castell, and Phoenix. There we go. 
So with that, I am ready to get rocking. You guys good if I get started? Ready to go. All right, Let's maybe I'll down. start with a pollo, a chicken. Woo! Um, we think salsa, no salsa to start. What do you recommend? I recommend salsa, the uh, tomatillo. Tomatillo, all right, let's see what this is all about, guys. Let me put some uh, taco salsa dressing on there. And with that, ah. Then we get rocking, let's hit the count of, uh, whew. How about five, four, three, two, one. Let us go. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Really good salsa. Mm. Cilantro, onions, delicious. Mmm. Mmm. You just make all the sauces, yeah? All the sauces in the house, yeah. Very good. Mmm. So you've never had a salsa verde. I feel bad for you. Because, especially if you're going like this, mm, a little bit like onion, maybe a little garlic, some chunk cheese. It's so fresh. Mmm. Wow, what do you call that red one? The tatamata, a fire roasted tomato mm. sauce. Fire roasted is really good too. Mm -hmm. Good recommend. Alright. So y'all pass four. Try to keep moving here at a pretty good pace, but mmm. Mm -mm. Man, that was a good bite. Try this. Mmm. Oh man. Mmm. Alright. Hold up. Is there like cinnamon in it? Man! Oh my lord! Mmm! The uh, El Pastor con canela. It is muy bien. Mmm! Oh my god! Mmm! Wow! Um, it brings out this level of sweetness. Mmm! In that winter spice. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at America's Taco Shop in Phoenix, Arizona, doing America's Taco Challenge. So, in front of us, 24 tacos, 15 minutes, trying to get the platter for free. So definitely a quick one, as this is not a lot of time, and definitely a lot of food. But let's just get into talking a little bit about the food itself. Well, Matt, let's try the greatest carne asada in the valley. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. That's a nice flavor. So all the recipes they were using for their meats and for their kind of different items here were coming from a great heritage of the Sinaloa Mexican region, uh, being like the grandmother's recipes, other locals' recipes, and even some scandalous recipes. We'll get to that. Where'd it go? America's way. What is that? Diced roasted jalapeno that you can add to any item. Okay. Put that on the taco, it just takes it to another level of flavor. A diced roasted jalapeno. Okay. Would a dog say chef's kiss? I think he said. Mm. We're talking about my burps here, let's see. Uh, well, not, not much right now, but comments to the chef. One thing that really stood out with me is from the meats to the salsas is just how much flavor is in these items. And one thing I love about true authentic Mexican cuisine like this here is you're not getting a lot of flavor from like overloads of sodium or overloads of sugar, which a lot of the time food in America, that's how we bring forth our flavor. You know, if you like Taco Bell or something, you get a lot of flavor just from large amounts of salt or large amounts of sweetness. But this is just the spices 
spices, and I don't mean spicy spices, it's not like it's picante, but it's just the spices in here. Just brings such a nice forward mouth feel when you add the nice additions like the fresh salsas, the acidities, the little tang, it just makes it explode. And you guys don't be dead quiet. You can breathe and <laughs> laugh and you know, talk. People are staring at me like they saw a ghost or something. I guess it's just a guy eating a lot of tacos. Whew. But I think we're coming on, I don't know what, five-ish minutes or so. Very delicious. This El Pastor is to die for. Dare I maybe make some uh, bold statements here in a moment, but see if we can get through these rest of these tacos first. Whew. I'll try it with the uh, roasted jalapenos. Mm -mm -mm. Holy crap, that freaking El Pastor though. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Roasted jalapenos. That's good flavor. Oh, thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Also, shout out to the staff. Very, very friendly. When it comes to difficulty, this challenge, definitely that time limit is what's making it uh, very difficult. Um, the tacos definitely were a really nice size. Um, they were a good full mouthful for Joel, which I have a big mouth, so um, you know we'll put it that way. That's so we can judge taco size, how big of a mouthful is it. So these were definitely a good size like street taco, um, but when it came to, again, the 15 minute time limit, this was something I knew, although you know more or less I was gonna have to really be mindful of the time and kind of just shut up for the most part eat um, with the exception of when I could uncontrollably um, let's say react to the food because the flavors on that El Pastor were just I like I couldn't help myself it was mind-blowing so what constitutes the valley the valley is kind of original Phoenix you know Phoenix is grown and kind of, you know, the Metro Phoenix includes uh, Chandler Mesa Tempe Gilbert Litchfield, Scottsdale, but uh, Central, like Central Valley. We're in the kind of the original parts of uh, where Phoenix got started within a half mile here. Okay. But that, that's pretty much the majority of the info. Like I said, trying to get that free meal. There's quite a bit of commentary, so I won't get too much into the actual um, tastes and flavors and the voiceover. But with that, everyone, let's see if we can complete the challenge. Let's tune on in. And uh, let's just say there may be a little bit of a surprise at the end. We learn about a uh, scandalous history and even some more items, which they are very well known for. And apparently, uh, award-winning and highly noted items. So with that, let's tune on in. And at that, let's see what... What happens? And let's see why they've been here for so long with these freaking tacos. But, all right, everybody, getting back into this El Pastor. Oh, it's so good. I think I'm ready. I've been debating to make this bold statement. I think I'm ready to make it after I've had. It pretty much with everything on everything. I'll put some habanero paste on this. Let me try this first. Wow. One more bug. Which of course is like one more taco. People laugh that I eat tacos in one bite, but just the way to do it. Mm -hmm. A little habanero paste. Mm -hmm. Can I some napkin? Thank you. All right, buddy. I'm ready to say it. This is pop. Woo! Sorry, guys, got a little excited. This is possibly my favorite El Pastor 
I don't know if I can say ever, but at least in America. The winter spices. Mm. Go touch that cinnamon. I think it's like a little bit of guajillo or something. It is sweet and savory and wintry. And it makes me feel like it's Christmas time. In the best way possible. This is amazing. Wow, seriously, 10 out of 10, would recommend. And that, for about, sort of 10 minutes-ish, or about 10 minutes. Last taco here, guys. It's like, wh where's the, what's the, what, what part of Mexico is the background from? So that, we brought that recipe from my wife's hometown in uh, Culiacan, Sinaloa. Culiacan, Sinaloa. Mm. I need some El Pastor, like, um, Quintana Roo, Yucatan, some of the uh, kind of northernish states. Um, I've had it all kind of done, but Sinaloa. So, and I, I think I over that about 11 minutes, but guys, wow. I'm shocked. I'm really, really shocked. So this was absolutely fantastic. And not like I'm shocked, like I expect it to be good. I mean, the place been around for so long, I heard it was really good. But holy crap, that El Pastor. Honestly, it is, you have to try it. That was just, <clears throat> excuse me, whew, there's the comments to the chef. I don't know if they heard him, but I'll try to send him again. That's it. Todo esta bien. It's muy rico. <laughs> Guys, seriously, wow! I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm kind of in shock. Either I'm in shock or heavenly bliss, or my blood sugars are through the roof, and I'm in a food coma. I don't know which is which. But this was damn good. Thoroughly enjoyed it. So uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, we do get the meal for free, which is pretty awesome. That was a quick one, man. I would have taken an hour to just eat that El Pastor if I could. So. I'm coming back here on a ca for a casual meal one day. Casual meal one day. But of that, um, guys, of course, until next time, stay happy, the hungry, happy eating. I'm, I'm, maybe I'll even have a look at the menu. I'll see what they have, because that was that good. And uh, I mean, the El Pastor is that good. I know they're known for their beans, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll give them a shot. I'll see what's up on the menu. Um, I'm gonna do it. All right, give me a second. I'll be back, let me have a look at the menu. And uh, I hope it's half as good as the El Pastor. Don't disappoint me. Let's get, uh, I'll be back in just a moment. Right, everybody, so I, one thing I got, which I guess has both the items in there that I love. So I got the, what's it, America's Way and Terry's Way? America's Way and Terry's All right, so this is a burrito. Like, again, all their beans slotted come in burritos, which they, I also got them throwing some El Pastor because it's that good. But they use, what's, what kind of bean do you use again? The uh, Mayacoba. Mayacoba, so that's like a little special bean. They're a little, Mayacoba, it's like a little creamier than like a pinto, which is very popular. But this looks delicious. I think there's all kinds of uh, diced onions, like these little jalapenos, some salsa in here. It's nice and warm tortilla. I don't know what they do to it, but it's very, uh, very fluffy. Is it weird to say it feels fluffy? I don't know, but if that is, it feels fluffy. Let's see how it tastes. Oh my god! Really? That's freaking beans. All right, everybody. Hold up, one more bite. How? Oh my God. All right. This is amazing. There is just so much richness and creaminess from that bean. Mm. And the El Pastor in there. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Nice job. All right, I'm already half done. I thought I just had a bite. This is fantastic. Holy jumpers. You guys make this here, yeah? Yep. Wow. Mmm, the onion. I don't even want to put, well, 
I kind of do want to, I just want to eat the salsa, but I don't really want to like obscure the, let's see a little bit of tomatillo on it though, but. Mmm. Not needed. This is fantastic. What the heck? All right. So their beans are delicious. Their all pastor is delicious. Which apparently they paid somebody for. And basically, how do I summarize this? I'm going to say this. I'm, I'm, I'm not, uh, not uh, how do we put this? I'm not uh, pointing fingers, but maybe there's a little bit of a cash hands out, backdoor dealings outside some little crazy restaurant down the middle of nowhere, Mexico, which turned into bringing the best El Pastor recipe to freaking Arizona. Wow. All right. If you've never had a bean burrito, I don't blame you. Except now having this one, I do blame you. Mm. I don't usually eat bean burritos. I'll be honest, I was really skeptical. It's like, really? I was hoping for like maybe a dish of beans, but. That burrito made uh, the top 100 things to eat in Arizona are bean and cheese burritos. Top 100, on yeah, guys, top 100 things to eat in Arizona. With the, the little uh, jalapenos and onions over there. Mm. Oh my god. All right. I ate the whole thing. I really didn't mean to. With that though, guys, that's actually enough food. I'm tapping out, but wow. America's, seriously. America, wherever you are, shout out America. That's definitely a good, good, good piece of food. Good item. But that one, of course, so next time. Say happy all the hungry, happy eating. Can I pay you 50 bucks for that El Pastor recipe? Like, does that work? America. Well, I'm gonna be writing these people a message, I'll tell you that much, because that was awesome. But, that anyway, until next time, I have no words. Besides, absolutely a must try El Pastor. Yum. So, uh, until next time, I think I'm in a diabetic coma. Or again, pure heavenly bliss. Not sure which one, but damn, that was good. I'm coming back. I'm I'm just coming back. All right. Till next, everybody. I'm just rambling. Have a good day. Everybody, the time has come. Not for me to shave my head. For you to subscribe. So click my face right here. Subscribe. Click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you want to watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc., link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out. Appreciate y'all. Until next time, well, I'll see you in a minute. Click on these videos.